Good afternoon, this is Robert Vogel with Issues in Education, and we're coming to you this afternoon from the International Society for Technology and Education, and with us this afternoon is Dr. Lana Israel, and she is the founder and CEO of Museology. Welcome, and we're glad to have you with us today. Thank you, it's lovely to be here with you. Why don't you give us a little bit of the background of Museology, and what is it, and how did it get started? Absolutely. So, Museology is based on the premise that while lots of students struggle with learning and check out of the learning process, these same students know the words to countless pop songs. Well, why is that? That's because music's a natural mnemonic that activates four brain regions critical for successful learning. Attention, motivation, emotion, and memory. So we said, what if we assemble a team of hit songwriters and producers and create high production value contemporary music videos that teach entire curriculum areas. Okay. And uh, that's what we did. We started wow. with algebra readiness, pre-algebra. Is that right? That's fantastic. Now, is there any particular type of music that tends to work better than others? That's a, that's a fantastic question. So, we've started with, with music that appeals to the broadest spectrum of students, which tends to be pop slash hip hop. Mm -hmm. However, we ask the very same. We ask ourselves the very same yeah. question you just asked us, uh, and in fact, we just received a grant from the National Science Foundation to research that very question. So wow. um, our company is going to be doing the first ever study on the mnemonic optimization of music and songs. Wow, that's fantastic. So how does the program actually work? How do you get your product, uh, the, the end product, out into the school districts? So the platform is web-based, okay. and so students and teachers have 24-7 access in class, at okay. home, anywhere they have an internet connection. Okay. And so the music videos sit atop a gamified digital platform that has quizzing components attached. Oh, nice. So not only can students learn, they can measure and track their progress as can their teachers. Okay, good. So how do you measure success? How do you know what is successful, what's working, and what's not working? That's, that's a fantastic question. Uh, we look at success on a couple of fronts, qualitatively and quantitatively. So our company began, uh, our, our company spun out of a small scale randomized controlled trial that we conducted in Knoxville, Tennessee, okay. uh, where, where Musology is now district wide and it's been wonderful to work with Knox County Great. Schools, amazing school district. Um, and on the basis of those results, we, we then uh, built up the, the, the full platform. So, um, so immediately we obtained statistically significant um, evidence that our methodology was working. Mm -hmm. um, and then on the, on the basis of that, once we had the full platform built out, we were able to measure student performance in platform, pre-test, post-test measures. Um, and we're, we, we also obtain data from districts, okay. so we can see students' growth before using Museology and after using Museology. Okay. Um, and we also administer diagnostic tests for district set points. Okay, great. So we have a number of quantitative measures that yeah. we draw upon. However, I think what's equally, if not more interesting, is some of the gains we're seeing qualitatively when it comes to students' self-confidence and self-efficacy and sense of self. We've seen students show up and say, I hate math, this is sad what I'm about to say, but we've seen students show up and say, I'm dumb. Yeah. We've, we've had students show up and say, I don't care about learning. Um, and within weeks of using Museology, these very same students say, math is now my favorite subject. Wow. I can't wait to take algebra in high school. Yeah. And one of my favorite statements from a student, Museology has not just given me confidence in my ability to do math, it's given me confidence in my ability to do anything. Wow, that's fantastic. So the word you just used that I think is key is confidence, and I was just going to ask you that. Do you see confidence building in students as a result of what you're doing? 100%. So we see, we see amazing about faces when it comes to students' confidence. We have teachers comment on that. We've been told that the platform has increased attendance. We've been told that the platform has decreased behavior issues. Mm -hmm. We've had teachers come to us and say, that student over there never talks. I, I can't get that student to answer a question, to be responsive in class. Since the student started using your platform, he now has a smile on his face. He now participates. He sings along to, to, to yeah. musology songs. So it's been 
it's been really, uh, it's been really amazing and rewarding to see those types yeah. of gains and, and measures yeah. to, to your earlier question. So with the confidence, it sounds like comes engagement at all levels, right? Absolutely. Yeah, that's Absol fantastic. A absolutely. You know, it's, it's, quite, it's quite interesting. You sometimes see lack of engagement when students are struggling, and then you also can see lack of engagement when students are advancing and yeah. not feeling challenged in the classroom. Yeah. And so um, with that lack of en engagement, uh, that often correlates with behavior issues. Right, yeah. Um, and so it's been it's been really interesting for us to hear about teachers saying how the platform has been really helpful when it comes to students who are struggling as well as students who are advanced, mm -hmm. because students can progress through the platform in a self-paced manner, yeah. and can we have fifth graders doing eighth grade math. Wow, yeah. that's great. So are there some subjects other than math for which Museology seems to work really well. So we we, we started with math. Uh -huh. So right now our, our current offering just covers math yeah. and algebra readiness. However, we intend on building out content modules that cover a, a wide array yeah. of, of subjects. Wow. The methodology certainly transfers. Okay. Yeah. That's fantastic. Are there any particular challenges that teachers face as they begin to implement your program? Are there any speed bumps that they have to navigate along the way? Um, I, one of the challenges has to do with technology in the classroom. Right. So uh, the, the platform is uh, very effective in one-to-one -one environments or when students have the opportunity to have time on, on their own devices. Okay. There are workarounds. We have teachers who play Musology videos for the entire class, and uh -huh. so teachers will introduce new topics by playing a video. They'll use it as a refresher at the class level. Okay. They'll work through quizzes in the platform together. Wow. Um, but, but that tends to be, in terms of challenges, something that sometimes, uh, unfortunately, okay. becomes a little bit of an impediment. Right, okay, good. Well, I know you mentioned uh, rap and hip hop. Are there any other musical genres for which you might have a name or two that you could drop and tell us here's somebody that's been involved or is your company involved with any other artists of well, any kind? So, um, so the, the songwriters and producers who have written our, our music, yes. have worked with artists like Justin Bieber, Ariana Grande, wow. Usher, Will Smith, okay. uh, a, 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 a wide array of, of really uh, amazing talents. That's and that was, that was important to us because the idea is that we want the student to hear something that sounds relevant yes. and with which they resonate yeah. at a just level of, of entertainment and likability. Yeah. So so we were very selective about the writers and producers we work with. And then uh, I started Museology with Bob Doyle, who is Garth Brooks' long wow. longtime manager. Garth Brooks. So uh, nice. it's 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 been wonderful to uh, to work with people who've worked in the music industry for so many years yeah. and really have expertise when it comes to how to create really great and compelling content. Okay, good. Well, everything that we're discussing here today that uh, will be edited in some part is going to go on to issuesineducation.net, which is our website. It'll be underneath the Knowledge Library. But if somebody wanted to get in contact with you directly, how would they go about doing that? So we can be reached at musology.com, okay. and, and there's a contact form there. We love hearing from people. Okay. And then uh, you can follow us on Twitter at musologyedu. Okay, excellent. So my last question for you then is, how do you see Musology evolving into the future? What are the plans for the upcoming years? In the next few years, we plan on focusing on scientific optimization of, of the platform. So as mentioned, uh, the study we're about to conduct, I think we'll lay out a blueprint for how we create songs that are even more fine-tuned yeah. when it comes to being mediums for, for learning and education. Right. And certainly, we, we plan on expanding out into to different subject areas. Okay.